Okay, so here's the deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the most authentic thing I can do, and that's to let y'all know that, that straight up true ass authenticity is is seriously like um a vibration hack. It really is. Um I'm a special person. <laughs> and I think I'm here to uh there's something in me that awakens others or so I've read about people like me. <laughs> I've had like this direct um line to God like since before I was born. Uh and the funny thing is I grew up with with um very abusive uh never ever speaking of any type of God or anything uh family. Um but there, I, I don't remember a time in my life when I didn't know. It's not that I didn't believe in God. It was just that I, I didn't know. Like I've always just known. What I don't know. It's not, it, no is I don't. No is the right word, but the wrong word. I don't know how to say it. So anyway, um, I've had an extremely interesting life um i've eaten out of silver spoons and uh i've turned a trick for a roast beef sandwich <laughs> it just it is what it is um but i live my life and uh and i am where i am and i feel like I have been given like this awesome gift. Like I won the lottery. Like the gift that I've been given is such a rare gift. I've never met anyone else like me. And um So anyway, yeah. Um I don't know. That's what I'm here to do. <laughs> is share myself. I guess, uh, my story, I don't know, I know God, so, uh, like, a, like, a, he's been to my fucking house in the third dimension, two different times, type of way, like, <laughs> like, grabbed a Jesus body, <laughs> and the, the weirdest thing is that the morning of the day it happened, um, I was telling everybody around the house, the kids and everybody, I'll get to, I'm going to get to meet Jesus this evening. I'm meeting Jesus this evening. And I meant that shit because I believe that shit because I, I was going to get to do DMT that that night. And I did. And, uh, anyway. Um, I'll finish that one later. <laughs> That straight up true ass authenticity is is seriously like um a vibration hack. It really is. Like the first time I tried to commit suicide, I was probably like fifteen or sixteen months old. I don't know what age I started to walk, but I have five kids and so I got a good idea. So I had to been to the age that um, well, once, if she were to put me down, that, you know, I could get to where I needed to go without a lot of falling down and whatnot. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking I was around 16 months old, which probably checks out. And anyway, we were at our apartment complex that had a pool and we were, she brought me down to the pool. I don't know if there was a get together. I don't know why we were at the pool. Because, evidently, and she never told me this part of the story, but she must have put me down. And I'm sure, like, as soon as we walked in, I saw that beautiful pool. <laughs> and I probably locked eyes with that deep end. And, uh, 
she put me down and like I was just on a mission and like okay so I like I said I got five kids and um I found them around pools all of them there's never been like one of them that went to just go jump in or jumped in a pool like like trying to be sneaky to jump in a pool no I have five kids that's never happened and I put my kids in pools early and stuff but no they didn't do that so that I did that it was weird and then I went straight into the deep end and uh I don't know I guess I went straight to the bottom she said that she saw me jump in and she immediately jumped in behind me and pulled me up by my hair and I probably was cursing her for doing that because I I think I was just trying to go back home not kill myself just I just want to go back home and I said all that long-winded, sidewinding ass shit to say. Um, I'm just kind of feeling my way around here, guys. I don't, you know, how that. Remember who you are. Remember. Like, okay, so, like, I'm one of those people who say it not fucking, like, grasping the virility of those words. This isn't the easiest thing I'm ever going to do, probably. But when I think about it scientifically, I can for sure, without a doubt, I believe it like I, or I know it like I know grass is green and I know it like water's wet. No, that none of y'all fucking exist unless I'm observing you. If I'm not observing you, your wave function collapses. So that's what I love. This is what I love about left brain. And that's this. It always just, when I feel like right brain just going way too out there, here comes left brain with some science. Like, those are just laws with a capital L.